Hello everyone and welcome to Van Tech Corner. In the previous videos, we have installed OpenWRTs on the Xiaomi CR660A routers. And we can see that the Wi-Fi 6 performance on this router is a little bit disappointed. And I got a suggestion from Michael to use the AC mode only instead of using AX. In this video, let's do some performance tests with the Xiaomi CR660A running OpenWRT. First of all, let's check the routers and since my video, the router is up and running for 12 days. And you can see right here, it's up and running with no problem so far. And here is the memory uses. So we have total 244 with 122 uses and 59 is on catch. Okay. So for storage, I have 100 megabytes of storage. And on the network interfaces, we can see that the PPE1 connection is up and running for 12 days as well. Actually, this router is only for testing, so I don't have a lot of uses on this one. But we can see that the interface is up and running for 12 days. It's the same with the LAN interface. So for network connection, or stabilities of the one or the LAN interface, there's no problem. But the only problem is on the wireless connection. So as you can see, this is my Raspberry Pi 4 running Ubuntu, and it is on the LAN side of the router, 192.168.5.210, and our LAN IP 192.168.5.1. So on the network wireless, we have our Wi-Fi in, let me check it. Click the edit button and we can see that the mod is AX, the channel is 36 and the width is 80 MHz. Okay. So first of all, let's go and test out the AX throughput and then we are going to do the AC throughput. Okay. So this is our physical setup. The Raspberry Pi 4 connect to the LAN port of the Xiaomi CR660A. And this is our phones. I have an Android phone right here. This is the Xiaomi Mi 9 and this is my iPhone. Okay. So it is connected to the CR660A 5G interface as you can see right here. All right. So the IP is 192.168.5.210. And let's start the test. Alright, so we can see that the speed go up to 800 and then let's go down to 700. Okay, and my phone is very close to the router. And for up dot, we can see that it's struggling between 500 and 600. And if I just move this a little bit away, then we can see that the speed drop. Alright, let's give another try. Refresh the page. Start. And this time I put it this side. So let's see if we have the same speed. So as you can see for my second test, we can see that it's go to 400 and then 700. And we can see that the connection, the speed is not stable. We can see that, okay. Now it's 700 Mbps. For upload, still around 500 to 600. All right, so that is the iPhone. And now let's give a try with the Android phone. Okay, so for the Android phone, we can see the Wi-Fi 6 icon right here. Connect to it. Let's go to browsers. Let's go. So with the Xiaomi Mi 9, we can see that the speed is 500 to 600 Mbps for download. And now it dropped to 534 Mbps. For upload, it is 600. Okay, actually 560, okay. 
All right, so 534 for download and 550 for upload. So now on my phone, let's try to connect to the 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi only. And let's see if it's work. All right, unfortunately, I cannot find the CR60A 2.4 gigahertz only. So I might need to take a look. Let me go ahead and click edit button right here and change to channel 11. All right, shortly after I change the channel to 11, I can see that the Wi-Fi is up and running. Let us connect to it and perfect and connect it. Let's back to the test, refresh the page, let's go. For the 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi in Wi-Fi 6, we can see that the download is only 64 Mbps and for upload, the speed goes to 100 Mbps they a little bit improvement all right so how about android connected perfect so refresh the page and proceed with the test so on my android phone i'm running at 46 mbps actually it's 45 so we can see that this speed is not good at all all right so now let's change the wi-fi mode to ac only and let's see and it go to the mode change to ac Change 36, let me change the weight to 40, save, and then save. And I'm going to do the same for this one. Alright, so everything is ready let's start the test again so on the phone connect to the wi-fi 6 so on my phone connect to the cr60a 5g go back to the speed test refresh the page and let's go All right, so shortly after I change it to AC, we can see that the throughput, the speed a little bit stable, but it's not high. So, so far we only got 315 MBPS for download and 340 or 50 MBPS for upload. How about iPhone? Let's give it a try. All right, already connected to Cesar CCRA 5G. Let's go. So same, we have 330 MPPS download. And then 300 and, well, okay, actually it dropped to 200. So we can see that the upload speed is struggling as well. All right, so I'm going to give a last try. Let me try to change the channel with 40, put it 20, save. Let's put the maximum transmit power to 20. Let's manually change it and set the country code to US.
all right still connected let me refresh the page start the test and we can see that when we change the channel weight to 20 the speed will reduce actually it dropped to 150 mpbs for download and 100 and around 50 mpbs as well for upload and not sure if this work if i change it to 80 i'm not sure i have no idea but let's do it together rub it down still connected let's stop okay this time it's look better we have 650 mbps download and the speed looks stable and we do have the same around 600 mbps for upload let me check with my android phone All right, so it seems stable on my Android phone as well. So we can see that by changing the Wi-Fi configuration to AC and then set the channel width to 80 MHz, we can see that the throughput looks stable on the 5 GHz channels. And still, let's give a last try with the AX mod. And then we are going to end the video. edit go to ax channel 36 the width okay i give it 160 megahertz let's see if it's work all right so it seems that we cannot connect to the 5 gigahertz anymore the same on my android phone i cannot find it all right so it's look like we need to change it to 80 megahertz. Okay, so this time we can see that the throughput on the Android phone and the iPhone is way too different. So still, the AC mode Wi-Fi is still the best configuration on this Xiaomi CR6608 for now. And that's all for this video. So I hope this test will be useful if you want to see what is the Wi-Fi performance of the CR6608 running to OpenWRT and you can decide whether or not give it a try with OpenWRT. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.